Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Today, we are back at Sun Camper RV in beautiful Fort Pierce. And it is a beautiful 90 degree day with 150% humidity. So, come sweat with us as we look at Big Country. Big Country, big storage. Look at this thing, oh my Lord. You literally could crawl in there. Now, one of the reasons that it has such big storage is, again, Lisa, if you can get down here, it's got the drop frame on it, okay? That allows for the storage level to be lowered, so you actually have more uh, ability to carry bigger, bulkier things, I guess is the best way to describe it. And the doors are also much bigger. So let's uh, go check something else out, huh? All right, beautiful frameless windows. And there was an awning over here, but the awning only covers about half the side um, of the coach. So, uh, and this would be the entertaining side anyway, since the slide here does pretty much take up most of the rest of the room. All right, we're at the back of the coach. Big country. Anyway, now, <laughs> nice ladder mounted so you can get all the way up to the roof, do the inspection so you don't have to carry a separate ladder. Uh, it is pre-wired for your backup camera, of course. And there is a, a, a mount if you want to um, attach some accessories like a like a bike rack or something like that. There's a utility hitch already in place. This one's got an electric reel for your power cable. All right, here is your other side of your storage as well as your wet bag. There is a water filter pre-mounted in here, which I love. That's not an aftermarket thing. It's in line, it's out of the way, it's great. Also, the wet bay is a separate compartment, so heaven forbid there's a leak, um, you have that here. Now you can also see in here, Lisa, there's another sort of compartment up there that you have access from the front, um, which we'll show you here in just a couple seconds. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers. This is a gross vehicle weight of 16,500 pounds and a cargo capacity of 4,044 pounds. All right, so we're up in the front. It's got your regular pin box on there, so it's not upgraded. It does have sort of your three door configuration. What I mean by that is, the bottom door is if you want to have a generator installed, that would be that. The top door is where you would access to that storage I was pointing out a couple seconds ago. And the third door over there, that's where your batteries are, that's where your hydraulics are, that's where your inverter is. It's just a nice utility sort of area, okay? And hydraulics, why do we have hydraulics? We have hydraulics because you have a six point hydraulic leveling system and the control for that is right here. So when you're with your truck and you're trying to take this off, you, you don't have to be around the corner. You're right here so you get to see it, which is pretty cool. So guess what? It's time to go inside. I bet you want to see the inside. You want to see the inside? Are you really? You really? Come on in and sweat some more with us. Look at this. Woo! I'm the king of the world. Oh, sorry. That's Odin. All right. That's okay. All right. Look at this. Opposing slides, right? Huge opposing slides in the back. I mean, the entire kitchen is on a slide. The, 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 the theater seats and the dinette are on a slide. It just gives you this massive space in here. It just, it's so comfortable. So come on back here, Lisa. So we'll start back here in the sofa. That is comfortable, right? Leather sofa. This does fold out to be a bed. Um, so if you have some guests over, there's a place uh, for them to sleep. You got some end tables, which are nice. Now the tops of the end table actually match the countertops. Uh, throughout the coach, um, they are all solid surface. There is power and charging stations um, to the left and the right of the coach. Or the, the, the coach. The couch! Then, oh, God, do, we, do, I, do I have to get up? Can I just stay right here? Oh, it's, oh, it's hot. All right, anyway, these are electrified, all right? So they go out on their own, they retract on their own, there's heat, not that we need heat today, there's massage, all that stuff in here. Incredibly comfortable. Now, if Lisa turns around, get a load of that TV. Look at that darn thing. That is absolutely huge. It's at least a 55, okay? 4K Ultra HD, all right, beautiful. The coach is also wired for sound. There's a DVD player already plugged in, and of course, you see the Furion 40-inch fireplace down there, um, which obviously Lisa loves. We talk about that a lot. And then, sort of this marbleized look um, next to the fireplace, which is just kind of cool, all right? So, then you have the kitchen, which is a really, really unique setup. You know why? Because the stove isn't there, it's over there. <laughs> and it's a four top gas. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, and look at this oven vent. Yeah. 
week. This, the range hood, this is only the second time I've ever seen one yeah. in an RV um, anywhere, so. By the way, I, I do want to say something real quick about the, the four top gas. Um, it's great to have, but I promise you, if you're cooking a big meal and you've got all of those on, your propane bottles are not gonna be pushing enough fuel for you to have appropriate heat. So just, I mean, it's cool to have them, which is great, but just know that there's some challenges being on the propane bottle. You may not get enough gas through to power all four at the same time. I'm just, I'm just saying. Good, anyway. good information. Yeah, good and information. countertop left and right too. Isn't that nice? That, so yes, when you're cooking, you've got lots of prep area, lots of place to put, you know, those chicken wings before you throw them in the fire. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we have some great big storage, both sides. Nice. That? What's that in there? Oh, look at that. That is your Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. Nice. Some nice big storage oh, underneath. Yeah. Yes, both sides. And I like the marble. Yeah, the same thing like around the fireplace. Yeah. Yeah. It's backsplash. Mm -hmm. All right. And then behind me here, we have this great refrigerator. Look at this. Too bad that wasn't turned on. I go crawl up in there right I now. I wish this thing was plugged in right now. <laughs> Let me tell you, because it is a hot one. It's hot. It is hot. It's hot. And then you have, oh, this must be locked. It's locked. Yeah, it's, a, it's a pullout. We've seen those before. Holy that close. Yep. Now, Robert, look at the little detail on this, this cover. So these aren't going to go sliding when you're driving. Can you see that? Yeah, detail? that's cool. Like right. a little jigsaw puzzle. It is. It's, it's because this is a true farmhouse sink. Isn't that nice? Right? Yeah. That's really neat. I love the finish. Yeah. The finish, that's beautiful. Faucet nice to boot. Faucet, yes. Now behind me, we do have a microwave. Convection. Yay. And this um, is, I guess, where you would put your um, your coffee pot. And yep, stuff since the coffee bar is not there. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess you could put it over there. You do have outlets over there. Yeah, I suppose you could. But, and then look at these storage drawers. Yeah, six drawer. Yeah, these are very deep, and that's very unusual. Um, and look at this as well. Yeah. Oh, there's your food pantry. Oh. Yeah, you see you hear that, though. Oh, yeah. Paper thin. Gonna need to support that. So if you're gonna hoard some kind of food up there, no. Look, if you're gonna full time, um, it's just thicker, is that thicker? Mm -hmm. No, it's the, same. it's the same. Yeah, if you put any kind of mass amount of groceries, like canned goods or stuff, in there, uh, it, it just you're gonna get a bow. So you have to find a way to reinforce those. Uh, you know, if you're full timer, manufacturers reinforce them shelves in the pantries. Oh, you know what? We almost forgot the dinette. Look at that cute table. It's got kind of rounded on the ends, right? Now this will have four chairs. Um, uh, the other two chairs are just in storage and as you can see, uh, it kind of splits in half, okay? One other thing that I want you to notice, look at how big that window is. So when you're sitting there, you have an amazing view as well as you got a view out the back of the coach too. Just, I mean, you don't see too many with the windows in the back. So I just, I love it when you can see out the back. So. Let's go towards the front and see what that's going to give us up there. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! All right, we're sitting on a porcelain foot flush toilet, which is uh, you know, one of my favorites, okay? And as you see, uh, plenty of leg room. Uh, for those who are joining us for the first time that don't know, I am six foot four. And so uh, we find it challenging in bathrooms and ceilings and beds and things. And so we like to talk about that. So, but in here, we definitely have enough room. So, now right across from me is the sink. It's uh, it's all molded, it's one piece. So uh, there's no place for junk to get all caught up in, which I really love. Uh, solid surface, just like everything else in here, right? Nice real faucet, which is cool as well. Underneath you get a little bit of storage, actually quite a bit to be honest with you. That's generous. Piping's all out of the way. Up above you get yourself a medicine chest, right, which is good. Now there's something else I want you to pay attention to. Look at the lights up here, okay? I don't know about y'all, but in our RV, we don't have lighting up there. So when we're trying to shave or Lisa might be putting on makeup if we're going out or something, it's all shadows. It's hard to see. Having these lights up here, amazing. So again, manufacturers, if you're making RVs that you think you're gonna be for full timers, better lighting by the medicine chest, please, please. All right, so showers. This 
is one of the reasons why I don't like the glass doors. Um, they always seem to be in the way. Now these ones, there's, Lisa, can you see the seat back there? I do. All right, so when you're parked and you're not driving, you might be able to start off with these back here. And so that will give you better access to get in and out, which I would recommend. But when you're driving, you have to have these pushed forward to, to latch, okay? Um, we, we did a whole video on shower doors, so we left the link down there to check it out, all right? Now, other than that, great shower, guys. My head's in the bubble. The bubble is the full length of the shower. Plenty of room left to right, front to back. The shower head's in a good spot. I mean, great for the tall person. Oh, yeah. What would a bathroom be without an area to store towels for when you take a shower and when you want to dry off? You would not believe how many RVs don't have storage inside the bathroom for your towels. This RV, storage. All right, we are sweating with the oldies now. Come on into the bedroom. This is an RV King. All right, it's on a slide, so it gives you plenty of room up here in the front, which is awesome. There's some charging stations to the left and the right on the slide uh, for your phone. And there is a little spot right up here uh, for you to put your phones at night. I do not see any electric left and right of the bed. So if it's not a phone, uh, you're gonna have troubles plugging it in, okay? Right across from the bed, you got a four drawer high dresser on decent size drawers actually, and a nice small TV already mounted up there, which is awesome, okay? Now over here, would be where your washer dryer would go. If, if you're gonna be full time and you wanna wash your dryer, you will get a full size stackable up in that compartment right there, which is great. And then just to the left of that, hi, big mirror, right? And so again, if you're getting dressed to go out, you don't have to try to find a little mirror to get in. You can see yourself fully dressed in there. Of course, you guys always look good. Right. Look at that. Nice big closet. There's a little niche back in there too if you wanna put some stuff back in there. Here's another thing I like, look at this. There is an actual side that separates the washer and the dryer from the closet. I like it when it's a separate contained area. So there you go. Yeah, that's a decent sized closet too. So guys, let us know what you think of this big country. This is the first time we've been in big country. Big country, all right? Uh, this, uh, yeah, great floor plan. I love the fact that the stove is right there. I mean, it's just just a little twist, and then you've already got this beautiful 4K Ultra HD TV uh, mounted in here. Beautiful sofas, I don't know. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if this is the first time you found our videos, thank you so much for watching. We really do love it. You know what to do. And for all the Tall Man Clan, thank you over and over again. Until we see you all again, be safe.